Okay, the next one, there will be the beta. Beta sensitivity. Beta sensitivity. Beta sensitivity is given in the Omba group. So the more voltage, that will be more resistance. So in this case, uh, beta is sensitive with a constant, but if you want to measure the starting value of the volt, and that voltage multiplied with sensitivity, then you can you can know the beta resistance. This is for the volt meter. So the based on here, we saw the one problem. Sensitivity is given the 500 ohm bar volt. That's what we call the sensitivity 500 ohm bar volts. We have to calculate to measure the 25 volt how much the system 25 volt range. In this case, I'm going to find a resistance sensitivity multiplied with voltage. Sensitivity multiplied with voltage. So sensitivity is 500. Ohm bar volt, voltage 25. So 500 multiplied 25, we got the meter resistance. 500 multiplied 25. So 1 to 5 zero zero so will be there. 12 by 5 kilo ohm. So to measure the 25 volt range, the meter resistance is 12 by 5 kilo ohm. The next one, 1000 volt range. So we also calculate the system equal to sensitivity multiplied voltage. So the sensitivity is 500 ohm bar volt multiplied with 1000. So that will be 500,000 volt. 500,000 ohm. So this will be the 500,000 ohm is 500 into 10 power 3 ohm or 500 kilo ohm. Or the uh, 0.5 into 10 power 3 multiplied by 10 power 3 because 500 is a 0.5 into 10 power 3 so that will be the 0 0.5 into 10 power 6 ohm or the 0 0.5 mega ohm so this meter got the 500 a kilo ohm or 0.5 mega ohm to measure the 1000 volt range so this is for the meter sensitivity and the another problem This is for the meter is given. Supply voltage 10 volt, resistor R1, 5 kilo ohm, resistor R2, 5 kilo ohm as well. We measure the voltage across the resistor R2. Then, this circuit. We have to find out for the draw across R2. For it across R2. We have to find out. So in this case, we neglect the mod uh, meters are uh, the system. So we can calculate. We can use a potential divider theorem. So the, in this case, a uh, body draw across R2. Vr2 equal to V2 then multiply R2 divided by R1 plus R2. We use a potential divider theorem. In this case, we neglect the beta resistance. Beta got a very high resistance. Okay? So in this case, 
uh, we use at this one. Beta got a very high resistance, so very high resistance we can neglect it for the parallel connection. If beta got a low resistance, current will flow into the beta. So that in this case, uh, we two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in in series to the supply voltage tempo. So V R2 is going to be to there, multiply with R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So the voltage total is a 10, R2 is 5 kilo ohm, R1 plus R2 is 5 plus 5. So that will be the 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 10, so you got the 5 volt. What they show is a 5 volt. This is a beta got a very high resistance. But beta got a 20 mega ohm. We have got a 20 mega ohm resistor. We cannot, we can no longer use it. We also have to cut, include the meter resistance. So therefore, the what happens is a supply voltage tempo. R1 is a 5 kilo ohm. And R2 is a 5 kilo ohm. And meter. Meter is a, here, this meter is a RV, 20 mega ohm. So we got. So this will be supply voltage tempo. This is 5. R1. R2 is 5. RV. RV is 20 mega, so 20,000 kilo ohm. We can do like this. Then we have to find out the total resistance R total. R total is R2 and RB is connected in parallel. Then they are connected in series with the R1. So therefore, the R total is equal to R1 plus 1 divided by 1 by R2 plus 1 by RB. The equation we have to write down. So the R1 is a 5. 1 divided by 1 by R2 is 1 by 5, 1 by RB, 1 by 20,000. So that will be, we saw it, so 5 plus. 1 by 5 is 0 by 2. 1 by 20,000. So, Five zero zero five. One, two, three, four, five. So that will be there. One, the way, why, two, so four, by nine, nine. So there will be 9 by 9999. So then this is a 9 by 9990. Therefore, we can find out the total current. So there will be I total. I total equal to voltage by R total. So voltage is 10 volt. This is a total is a 9 by 999. So 10 by 9 by 999. So one five zero zero zeros are milli and the R. So multiply with this is the R one, the R one. The R one is a uh, five. Multiply with one by zero 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 one. So this is multiply with so the
So V R one. Then beta voltage is also the V uh, beta voltage V. So this total voltage table minus our resistor voltage is a, a five by zero zero five. So we substitute then minus five by zero 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 five. So you got the four by nine 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 five. So this is the way we calculate it.